Hello there, Glowforge friends. I am back with another instant inkscape. I'm going to take some text real quick. I'm going to connect it together, and we are going to cut with acrylic. So let's check it out. All right, so you can see that I opened my Glowforge template. I'm going to click on the awesome fit view so that the words are going to show up here where I want them to. I'm going to simply put the word love in here. And then I'm going to go down to the font choices, and I want to go all the way down to brush script. I like brush script because a lot of the letters are connected, but the L is not. So this lets me show you the technique I want to right now. I'm going to make it a little bit larger so we can see what we're working with. And then as we all know, we must click object to path. That is the only way you can bring them into the Glowforge. I'm going to give it a green fill, and I'm going to give it a stroke of pink. I'm going to click on that stroke, and in, currently it's... Two millimeters I'm gonna change it to one millimeter so it's a little bit thinner I'm gonna take all these objects and I'm gonna ungroup them if we click on the nodes this is where the magic happens and we get to connect these little pieces together let's zoom in take a peek at it and I'll teach you what these all are as well so on the nodes you can add nodes subtract nodes join nodes break the path we can join selected nodes, which is going to be really, really cool. And we can delete the segment between nodes. We can make nodes corners, so that means it snaps uh, in different angles. We can also make them smooth, symmetric. And then here's where we can do segments into lines and curves. We need to take this piece and this piece. So I'm grabbing the nodes and I'm bringing them over to the shape. If I zoom in a little more and we click on these pieces, you can see the nodes have these handles we can use to smooth and make our shapes connect. This is essentially all you have to do to connect this piece together. I'm going to right click and zoom out. And you see this silly bump right here. We can fix that by doing the same trick with the nodes where we just adjust these handles to smooth it out to the way we want. I've got my words all aligned, so let's zoom out to the full page again. And at this point, we can simply select it all, and we can use Path Combine to combine them all together. Notice we've got these spots where it overlaps, though. Check out how easy it is to fix this. I'm going to zoom right to the corner, and I'll have to do all these, but I'll do this one first. I'm going to click on this joint right here. I'm going to move it away for a second so I can just see what I'm doing. And I'm going to add an extra piece for a second. So I just double clicked. And then I'm going to click these two. So I'm holding shift and clicking the second one. And I'm going to go up to the delete segment between two endpoints. And I'm also going to delete this segment between these two endpoints. And now I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to delete the segment between these two endpoints. At this point, I can take these two shapes, click, hold down shift, and click. And I'm going to come back to the super cool join selected nodes, just like that. So now my fill moves right through. I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to join them as well. Poof. I can now grab these and adjust them, and this is where you can come over to the little pieces and turn them into the kind you want. So if I make this one smooth, see how it smooths out that curve for me? I can still adjust and tweak it. I'm going to take this one, and I want it to be a corner, so I'm happy with that. I can just tweak and adjust that so it does exactly what I want. Let's click this one down here, and let's make it an auto smooth. Look at that, it adjusts it so it smooths automatically. Let's zoom out and take a look at the whole project. I'm going to hit the fit view. This isn't quite what I want, so I'm going to zoom in just a little and I'm going to fix that. And all I want to do is just make that a little more thin. And I think I'm going to bring it out a little bit. What the heck? I'm going to try that little auto smooth. You know what? I do like that. I'm going to fix the rest of these off screen quickly. 
But there you can see I just repeated that process again. And now I've got my cool word love with a pink stroke and a green fill. Let's do file save as. I'm going to save this word as love as an SVG. I'm going to put a four after it because I probably made like six of these so far. And let's hit save and send it to the Glowforge. Alrighty, friends. So in the Glowforge, let's bring in our love SVG. When it loads, you'll notice that we only have the outline. We'll fix that in just a second. I'm going to do it once with just the outline. I'm going to make it nice and small. Let's enter our custom settings. I'm going to take my 315575 and I'm going to convert it. I'm going to go 200 for the acrylic. I'm going to keep the 75, but I need to set this to 3 millimeters. When I've got that done, I'm going to select my material by using uncertified, and I'm going to set it to 3 millimeters thick because that's how big my acrylic is. And let's hit print and send it to the Glowforge. So my friends, let's return to Inkscape quickly and let's make this so we can still cut it, but also score it. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the fill by simply left clicking the no fill. Then we're going to do control C and control V. So we have a second one and we're going to take this one and we're going to give it that green fill by left clicking. And this time we're going to right click on the no stroke and we're going to choose set stroke to none all right so let's select both of those pieces switch to the align and distribute and center them and center them so now we've got the two pieces necessarily i'm going to just move them both a little bit more into the little project area and this time i'm going to do file save as and i'm going to call it 4a and i'm going to hit save let's go back to the glowforge and let's see what we get this time all right, so this time you can see that when I brought it in, we have both pieces. I'm going to stretch it to a size that I like. This time I'm going to use the engrave settings, and I'm going to set it for 500. I'm going to do 20 for the power, and I'm going to just stay with 90 and 3 millimeters, and then I'm going to cut it at 275 and 3 passes. Once again, making sure I've got the 3 millimeters set. Let's use my material as wisely as I can, and let's let the Glowforge work its magic. So there you can see the cool texture that was added by using that engrave over just using the cut initially. Alrighty friends, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hammer that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.